have all this money, why doesn't it go there? It is the story of uh, Gerard the Completionist. Now, I want to. I think we should all kind of stop and uh, disclose if we anybody has any personal um, relationship with Gerard because we all worked in the space for a long time. Does anybody know Gerard on a personal level? Nope. nope. No. Okay. Nope. I do, but not on a personal. Well, I say uh, we've we've hung out, right? Mm-hmm. We're not like we're acquaintances. We've we've mm-hmm. known each other for a long time just because I've been on the internet forever. Right. Was um, it like a, a screw attack gaming con kind of thing? Right. Showed up? Right. Yeah. yeah. He was, yeah. he was a guest at it, like an event that we ran. Right. Yeah. Um, so we'll start there. So full disclosure. Uh, and by the way, Gerard has always been like the nicest guy in the world to me. So, um, just want to put that out there, but he has, uh, been in the center of some controversy as over the last, uh, last day or so, um, to, I don't know if you call them internet, reporter guys uh carl carl jopes jobs who usually does speed running videos and uh also mudahar i think it's some ordinary gamer released dual videos at the same time talking about the completionist uh charity that he has that he raises money for annually and uh the tldr of this story is that he has raised over six hundred thousand dollars over the last uh almost 10 years and it's still sitting in the bank and it hasn't been dispersed to other charities. And um, that was kind of the, the big the big story from this. Um, now, none of that money has been used. It hasn't been put, uh, it hasn't been put towards salaries. It hasn't been put towards Ferraris. It hasn't been put towards anything else. If anything, it's been used to mainly produce the next, next year's um, um, like marathon or, or charity drive that they do. Um, but it's primarily, uh, it's just one of those, like, why isn't this money been spent story type of thing. So I'll open it up to you, Nick. You are the editor, man, superstar news guy. Uh, what, what's your initial thoughts here with, uh, with this bombshell revelation? Um, yeah, it really just, I actually don't know a whole lot about this story. It's, you know, kind of broke when, <laughs> when I've been trying to build a business, but you know, if, uh, I, I've only ever heard good things about the completionists. So, you know, I'm kind of. I'm always on the side of I want to know more before I make any judgments of anything. And, you know, uh, I was seeing some tweets from some people that knew him that like he, apparently he was having trouble like finding places to give that money to. Uh, I don't you know, again, I don't know how that draws up. But that's that's basically all I've seen from that story. So, uh, like I said, I think that, you know, Twitter and all that likes to jump the gun on a lot of these things. And I'd wait. rather just see. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Twitter jumped the gun on something? Never. Are you kidding me? Now? Never. Never. <laughs> yeah. um, let, let's let's give everybody a little more context. I tried to give the TLDR. I obviously didn't do a very good job, but this is from IGN because they're 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 hardcore video game journalists, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, YouTuber the Completionist Open ha- Open Hand Foundation accused of keeping charitable donations. Um, the active the Open Hand Foundation charity, which uh, he founded and has an active role on. Um, and I, I think it is important to preface that when a, when a charity is started. Um, some people don't know this. There needs to be officers are on the board. There needs to be three, like at least minimum three board of directors. And this is a small charity that um, that Gerard is on the board of directors for. What that board of what, what that board of directors does is they help vote on things like where the money's going or what what uh, they're going to do for um, you know for the charity drive or whatever. But and Gerard is one of the board of directors or members of this board. Uh, for this charity. So um, as I mentioned, Carl Jobs and some ordinary gamers uploaded videos uh, about about their investigation into Gerard, better known as the completionist. The pair alleged that the Open Open Hand Foundation, which was founded um, after uh, his mom more or less uh, passed on, and uh, they said they've raised over $600,000 for the money, and there's no evidence of paying that money forward to organizations working against dementia. Um, okay. Uh, Deb, what what are your thoughts on this? I mean, mostly the same. It's it's probably good to wait to see what Gerard himself has to say. If he has some explanation, he makes a statement or something. He probably will in the coming days. Um, I've seen a lot of the memes though. Like there is there is that one video that Gerard put out where he's like he's holding up, I think the 3DS and the Wii U gamepad, right? With with like five figure numbers on the front of them saying, "I bought every single game on the eShop before it went down," and now. A couple years later, everyone's saying this is a pretty bad look, considering that you're sitting on $600,000. I mean, there's no evidence that that's where the money actually went. 
but it does look bad, right? And it makes for some pretty funny jokes. But it's one of those things where you know, maybe it is actually the case that he didn't, he, he couldn't find a, a worthwhile charity yet, and he's just waiting. But I mean, ten years is a long time to wait. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, that's a lot of money to sit on to not do anything with. That's uh, interesting. I think that in a situation like this, where you have, you know, I, I've seen I've seen counterpoints counterpoints to to all this, right? Uh, and this is actually one of them. I saw a, a Twitter post uh, which was not overreacting, and I think it's important. This guy, uh, the Lil Wooly, who is who. <laughs> Is uh, I guess I guess not really doesn't have much of a following or anybody, but uh, they're trying to provide some perspective on the situation. And uh, they say over on Twitter, the whole situation regarding Gerard the Completionist in Indie Land seems a bit overblown to me. Uh, and I want to give Ordinary Gamers and Carl Jobs a bit of my opinion on the matter as an accountant for a nonprofit. Um, and I think it's important to hear kind of those perspectives as we go in. But the long and short of it is uh, he goes in and he's talking about, well, why not? You know, the, the thought was, you have all this money. Why doesn't it go there? And this guy who's an accountant more or less says, because oftentimes when you donate to big charities, it ends up going to like the CEO salary. It goes to all everything but the actual charity and the idea of what you want to help solve or the problem that you want to help solve. And I think that's like honestly a very valid thing. Now, with that said, is like seven, eight, nine, ten years too long to figure out what that is? Probably. <laughs> I think not, we can all, think did we can he all... not say anything about holding onto the money this whole time? Like that he, yeah. Right. So, so he's been on, he said several times in several streams and several, uh, several instances that he's like, this money goes directly to, and he lists out person, you know, actual, actual things. So I'm not saying that, that, uh, it, my personal thought on this is I don't think Gerard knew he was messing up. And when he, when he found out that he was messing up, as pointed out in um, in the conversations that they had with him, because that was one of the things which I very much commend um, some ordinary gamers and Carl Jobs for doing, is they actually reached out to him and they actually had a conversation with him and they asked him about it instead of just running with the story, which in my mind, that's what journalism is, right? Um, getting getting the actual side of the story. So they reached out to him They they uh, and he was like, look, yeah, I messed up. I didn't realize that this was happening. And now that I realize that it's happening, we're going to correct it. And, you know, obviously the the question back is, well, why did it take so long? And his, and his answer is just like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wasn't aware this wasn't happening. So um, I feel like in this situation, it's it's much to do about nothing while still being something, if that makes sense. Just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking. No, on I, 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 I know. I know what you mean. There's a, a in, in a more general sense. I think people have to realize that YouTubers generally aren't professionals. <laughs> like when, when they get big enough to be someone like a Linus tech tips, right? Where he has like a hundred people working under him and he has a 15 million sub channel. You can call them professionals then. Right. But most YouTubers, even if they're living off their channel, they're still just kind of schlubby guys who don't know what they're doing and they're bumbling through it. And so it's not it, like, it's still a mistake. It still shouldn't have happened, but it's kind of understandable that he just didn't know what he was doing. I I think, uh, and Nick, you obviously you're, you're. Is this your first business that you're that you're running? Or I mean, obviously you were the EIC at Escapist, but that's not that's a little bit different than than yeah. like running a business. So is this your first opportunity running running your own business? This is my yeah my first business running with money. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> so. And it, it's, it's a lot. And, uh, Deb, so you, you're, you're self-employed, right? You run your yep. own own thing. So, yep. uh, I don't know, kind of talk about that because there is an, uh, there is an element to this. And now I think your situation is going to be a lot different because Gerard has been doing this for a long time, so much so that he can use his platform to, uh, to create a charity. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. so obviously I would like to think that he has had experience in, handling money and money coming in and then paying taxes on that and dealing with employees and all this stuff. Cause when you reach that certain point, but talk about your experience there. Cause that's, yeah. um, so, well, it's different. It, <laughs> and I'm just going to throw myself under the bus here real quick. I've been doing it about as long as Gerard has. I've just been completely unsuccessful until the past <laughs> two years or so. <laughs> I only just managed to live off of this. It was always like a hobby for me, you know, but, um, yeah, th there does come a point where you're, you know, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video today. I'm going to do a stream and you kind of do your thing and you get some money and you get a little bit more money and you get a little bit more money. And then you realize, oh, I can quit my job. 
And eventually you get so deep into it that you're, you're sitting around and money's pouring in and you're paying off every bill that you have and you're putting some in the bank and you're like, wait, this is actually a real thing now, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this. I have no idea how to like set it up legally. I have no idea how to, you know, wh what does it mean to hire someone? And now, and there's like the, the legal responsibilities of that. And then also the moral responsibilities, because if someone's working for you, now you're responsible for them. So if you don't perform now, it's not only you who goes hungry, somebody else now goes hungry. Right. So there's, a, a, there's a lot of hidden factors in running your own business that I think spring up out of nowhere. And even for people who are a little bit experienced, it catches them by surprise. I, I can speak for that. I mean, this is this is my third business online uh, in in this space, and yeah, it's you know, it, there, there's there's a lot of unexpected unexpected costs uh, that that kind of pop up out of nowhere, specifically from a tax perspective. Now, uh, the chat saying like, you know, is this a is this a um, un, you know, is this like honest mistake? I I don't think you can have an honest mistake for for that long, for six or seven years. But I do think it's a mistake, and I I do think that it's. Uh, in a situation like this, you you can realize something was wrong, and then you can sit on it, and then you forget about it. And I'm not going to apologize for Gerard here at all, um, but I do think that it's worth hearing his side of the story because I do think that in the in the interviews that they did with him, and the and the uh, segments that they showed with him in their videos, um, they absolutely. Um, he owned up to it. And I think that's really all you can ask when it comes to, when it comes to this uh, type of thing is somebody messes up, they own up to it. And uh, it was pointed out in the chat that at this point, probably the best thing to do is to disperse that money and shut it all down and not do this again. I don't know. What, what are y'all, what are y'all's thoughts on this? Do you want to go, Nick? I just spoke a whole bunch. Sure. Uh, yeah. No, I just, uh, you know, if, if he's on the board and, my my one big red flag popping on my head is like you're on the board and you don't know where that money's going over 10 years like that's that's raising a big red flag in my head for me uh just as somebody that's starting a business right now i know where every dollar is um so uh, yeah i think i mean yeah he has to just, the only way he gets out of this is dispersing the money and doing what he promised to do and then i, I agree like shutting it down like nobody's going to trust you to give you that money again to run a charity like that um you know, that's, I think it, it, it kind of boggles my mind, like, especially, you know, when I, as I'm sure people are looking at this and, and they're going to be finding, you know, financial documents and all that, that's going to tell more of the story to that. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's one of those things where it's not good, but on some level it's understandable because I think we've all been that person, especially when we were younger, like back in school or something where you've had like a paper due and it's sitting on your desk. And then as you're like, I don't want to do this right now. It's, it's a huge project. And then like it shuffles to the back of your desk behind your monitor. And then it stays there for about three weeks and you don't even look at it. it but like on like on some subconscious level, you know, it's there. And it's like this dragon that's leering from behind your monitor that has to be tackled. But every day you don't, don't tackle it. The problem gets I worse. Buy, I don't know if I buy that so much, though, because he no. like was promoting the charity on a lot of streams. Right. It's not something that like was in the back of his mind that. Mm -hmm. We're raising money and, you know, at the same time, not mm -hmm. seeing where it's going. As, as somebody who has once been the type of person who was scared of confronting important things and putting yeah. them off. Yeah. It, it's very easy to like to rationalize it and be like, like to talk about it and then, but like have anxiety about it and then just say, go away, get out of my head. And I can just forget about you for <laughs> the next three months, but it's still back there. You know, it, it's, it's not good and no one should ever yeah. do it. And yeah. it does come with consequences, but I can at least understand it. I think it's, I actually think it's very good that, that he's been called on it. Um, mm -hmm. yes. And to kind of further compound, you know, or to kind of play devil's advocate to what you were saying, Dev, I understand what you're saying as far as, you know, many people in this, in this game are not business owners, um, but they're thrust into the idea of being a business owner. But, um, you know, the question is, well, he spent, there's uh, like been a hundred thousand dollars that's been spent out of that. Right. And I think that, that money probably, and I don't know, this is something that Gerard's going to have to uh, ask, um, but that money was probably pulled for, and that, that's $100,000, not like, that's like a one-time deal being pulled out uh, in 2022 for whatever, to buy a car or whatever. That That's probably been, been, been spent as an expense for the charity over the course of, of, the, 
of the duration of these charity events. That's that's my only assumption, and I'm going to assume there. I don't we don't know until Gerard actually says anything. But I do think that that's probably the best best answer for that situation is that uh, money has to be spent to generate more money, and that's mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. things work. It, it just doesn't like start flowing in. So they're they're uh, causing ex expenses or they're they're having expenses to bring that in. With that said, they do every time there was an expense, they had to know that money was there, right? So that once again doesn't give the excuse of well they just didn't know because they clearly did know because they're spending that money for something. So um, I'll be interested to see if if Gerard makes a statement here over the next mm -hmm. couple of days. Um, he obviously should. I would I would think he'd probably want to do it sooner than later because. He clearly knew this was happening. This was going to happen because they reached out to him. They knew that uh, he had two fairly large YouTubers coming after him, and uh, and you know, it's I, I would have thought that he would have probably. I mean, if I was him and I knew this was going to happen, I would have uh, uh, I would have broke the story before them personally. Um, <laughs> that that's just that's kind of how I would have handled it. I don't. know. What about you, Nick? Uh, no, yeah, they would have absolutely got ahead of it as a. You know, just happened with with me recently. So, right. You know. Um. So there you go. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we're just gonna have to kind of wait and see over the next couple of days what exactly happens and and the uh, the response to this. I think that mm -hmm. anytime there are sort of accusations when it comes to charities or just anything online, you know, like really any accusations at all, I do feel like there will still be that asterisk in the back of people's mind where it's like, wasn't that that guy who cheated the charity? You know, regardless of if he did it or not, the fact that there was there's been publicity around around it, um, whether because people will only see that first headline, and we know that, and mm -hmm. uh, that that's kind of why I would have beat it out the gate. But that's just me. But what do you think about this? Leave us a comment down below. We read every single one of them. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button because you have found your home for common sense in the gaming and entertainment worlds.